day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. The truth will make you sick. Hey, look at that word. Hey, look, let me interrupt you. I noticed that the word, you know, we hear the word that says set you free. Even in the uh, the little subtitles that you find in the Bible I'm reading, you read, that, that read it says the truth will set you free. I like the word make you free. Yeah, it makes you free. It implies a force, doesn't it? It implies yeah. something is moving you to be free. Yeah, instead of set setting you free is is well got open the I was I, I think you was here a long, long, long time ago we did a Django, uh, where the he broke he broke away from the, the slave owners and there was some slaves still sitting in the cage. And and the he opened the door for the cage and the slaves wouldn't get out of it. Yeah. You know, the door was open. Yeah, and they stayed there. They, they were stayed. set free and stayed in place. <laughs> and you it know, just, it, he just looked at the rope, you know, just, he just kept on, he just left, you know? Yeah. So that, and, that's a good analogy, you know? You can look at the, the children who were in bondage in, in Egypt. Ooh! They were set free. Yes. But only a few of them were made free. Yes. Yes. Because even in numbers on that one, they even there was one time when they wanted to go all the way back to Egypt. Yes, yeah. and that, that's my point. They 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 were made free in, in every point. Yeah. They they their minds weren't free. They weren't made free. They 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 were set free. They were set free, but they were in their but mind. They were still in bondage. Yeah. Wow. Um, I, I, <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's like you said, to be set free is one thing. You know, you, you can be set free. Woo! Oh, and, Woo! and this is what just dropped in my spirit. When you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and, 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 and Savior. Yes. You are made free. free. Yeah. Yeah. But the problem is it's taught that you have been set free. Yes. You still have that mindset Woo! of being in bondage to a life that you live. Yeah. So this is for your habits Are still keeping you in bondage. Yes. But to be made free, Woo! When the truth makes you free. You are free indeed because you no longer have that mindset in those areas of your life that are habitual. Wow. Wow. I mean, that's powerful, brother. In the truth, and that's why I like it. Like I said, the truth. That's why I was talking about truth will make you free. Yeah. And in like you people. said, in that scripture you read, I think you quoted the scripture said, if you, if the son, if the son has set you free, he has set you free indeed. Yeah. I mean, you you are free. <laughs> You're free from this bondage of sin yeah. and death. You're free from it. Uh, yeah. And that's the gospel, right? That's the gospel again. So go ahead and read that 33. What happened to 33? And then I'll go to the next slide. We answer him, <laughs> we be Abraham's seed. Whoa! What? You were never in bondage to any man. Uh -huh. You were in bondage to Abraham, obviously. Uh -huh. <laughs> See, that's the issue, right? They pointed to a man. Yeah. He said, How says thou, you shall be made free? Hey, look, in most cases, most people don't even know they're in bondage. You know that? Yeah. They, they, they say, I'm free. I'm free. Go ahead, keep reading. <laughs> Jesus said to those Jews which believed on him, if you continue in my word, Come on. then are you my disciples indeed. Come on. <laughs> and you shall know the truth. Yes. 
and the truth shall make you free. Yes. They answered him, we be Abraham's seed and were never in bondage to any man. I say to God, ye shall be made free. And Jesus <laughs> answered them, verily, verily. If he, every time I seen verily, verily from Jesus, it was something serious. <laughs> Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committed sin Woo! is a servant of sin. Yes. Hmm. That's deep. That is. He's telling you. And the you. servant abideth not in the house forever, Woo! but the son abideth forever. If the son, therefore, shall make you free, Woo! you shall be free indeed. indeed. So we can go right on back and pick that again. <laughs> Obviously, Abraham sinned. <laughs> he was born in sin. Right. So they were the servant of what? Of sin. sin. And they tried to say, you, you always, it's, I always thought it was interesting because not only were they servants of sin, they were under the, the, the rulership of, of Rome at that time. Yeah. And to say that they were not under any bondage, it's like, uh, are you in the same world I'm in right now? <laughs> uh, with, with all these Roman soldiers, is all you remember like a Saul when Saul said I killed everything, and yeah. and, uh, and Sammy said, well, "What's up? What's what's this bleep I'm here?" Right? <laughs> and, and for these for these Jews, it said, then said we have not been under in bondage for what anybody. <laughs> And you sit there said, huh? There were plenty of times they were in bondage. <laughs> they were in bondage many times. They were carried away captive. They were sent to Babylon. They were, you know, and then I'm just saying they would write the Roman soldiers. Up. I mean, if you were looking around at that time, if you were right there at that time, in that yeah. setting, you would see Roman soldiers all over the place. Yeah. And you'll sit there and say, uh, I think we're under, I think we're under their control. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but they said they had the audacity to say that when they said, you know, we were never in bondage to any man. That's that tells you sometimes even in our own life, in our own spiritual walk, that people don't even know they're in bondage. Yeah. I mean that's that's that that goes to everybody in the United States. Mm, mm, mm. You are in bondage to this country. Yeah. You, 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 <laughs> you are are taxed, and many of us are taxed without representation. Yeah. Because you know, I mean, it's only obvious. Mm -hmm. They they say that you 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 have a vote and you're in that all this other stuff, but. You're not being represented, even in your vote. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you, you're 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 in bondage to the land of the of this uh, country, yeah. the law. You know, so you, you're 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 in bondage to your job, <laughs> to your it, your bosses. Yeah. So you know, it 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 boils down. To how, how how you want to receive that? Yeah. That in your life. How you perceiving it? Right. Yeah. Right. So, but to to abide in the house of God uh -huh. is is a whole nother whole nother end completely. It, it doesn't compute to this world and this world system. It, it doesn't. It, it, it really, really puts you above and beyond where, where, where you are, what country you are, and anything like that, because you are an ambassador. Yes. Of heaven. Yeah. And even ambassadors in this world. Yes. In country, in every country, have privileges that ordinary citizens don't even have. <laughs> Oh man, that's true. That's uh, oh, you know, you know what came to my mind while we're reading that, and you what you're just talking about was 
Remember the impotent man that was by the rip by the water of Bethesda? And, and, and Jesus asked him, will thou be made whole? Yeah. What did that man focus on? He, on, on, on on the life that he's been given. <laughs> and, and, you see what I'm saying? He, he was not he, focusing on what, you know, to give the obvious answer. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I would like to be made whole. Yeah. That's, why yeah. I'm, that's why I'm here right <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm here right now. I'm sitting, I'm, I'm stuck right here right now, but my desire to be made whole. Now, now he's going to go into what was causing him not to be home. Yeah. And he was stuck. You see what I'm saying? He was yeah. stuck. How many of us are just stuck? You know, I, I, I have a, and I just wonder as we go through life and, I, and the people that's listening, how many of us are just stuck and think we're where we are and we have to live and act a certain way because the world treats us that way? You know, I was sitting there with, um, I don't know if you, 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 you have a daughters too? You have daughters too? I have a daughter. A daughter, okay. And my, one, one, of, one of them, I was sitting there uh, about relationships, right? And, and I guess you, how many relationships she, she married? Yeah. Okay. Uh, when, they, they, when they encountered bad boys at first, and I don't mean bad, I guess we talk about disappointments. Sometimes people think that, well, maybe I need to change my perspective of, of, of being nice because people take advantage of niceness. You ever, you ever mm -hmm. heard those little tunes? If it had to be with uh, female to male relationship, it could be just people relationship where you be a mm -hmm. nice person, you know? Um, mm -hmm. And then you have a tendency to say, well, maybe I need to stop being, matter of fact, it's kind of equated with that event you had with the pump. The, I have made my mind up, correct me if I'm wrong, that I need to put up my shields because I don't know about where this person is coming from and I'm basing that on the past. Mm -hmm. Isn't it, right? That my, my first inclination is, oh, a hustle is being presented to me. Yeah. Right? And just think about that with relationship. I I don't want to deal with, maybe I don't want to deal with church people because of my past relationship, my past interaction with them. And therefore maybe I need to, so if I got to change my posture, change my behavior, opposed to saying, Looking at the thorns, I just get it. It's funny. I know you look at the background. I know your background. <laughs> it looks funny. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> hey, well, but I'm seeing thorn, it. Some thorns represent something. <laughs> <laughs> it does because it's a mind game. It's a warfare that's going on. And, and, and sometimes people think that, well, I need to be on the rough side, I need to be on the defense. And I need to be more cynical. I almost think about when you talk about the Good Samaritan, those Levite in that first in that uh priest. Hey, I don't want to get involved with this. Yeah. So I'm gonna go to the other side. And 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 maybe that's how we gotta watch ourselves and say, do we need to become cynical? Or the Bible says, you what you walk by faith, it says you shall live by faith. And that means expectation of what? Good, right? Yeah. yeah, in other words, I'm going to look. I ain't got to give you money to sit there and say, God is good. How you doing, brother? <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. What's going on, brother? Well, how God treat you today? <laughs> hey, I know to freak somebody out sometimes, but the bottom line is, this is the day the Lord has made. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. And that person, it has to put the person on guard, on, uh, on the offense or on, if they're doing a hustle, they got to sit there and say, yeah, God is good. Give me some money. Yeah. Uh, 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 I, God will provide for you, brother. <laughs> but yeah. but if, if if God led you over here, then God, you tell me what your story is, maybe I will bless you. 
But if, I, if not, I'm gonna move on. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let's go with this other part of this. Let's let's see the rest of this goes here. Can we make sure these people get the word for the lead? Uh, the next one is here. What you got? Okay, this is John eight thirty seven. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me <laughs> because my word has no place in you. Sound like those scriptures you just read earlier, didn't it? Yeah. Uh huh. My I word. That which I have seen, which with my thoughts. Uh-huh. And you do that which you have seen with your father. So in other words, the scripture you was talking about is they were thinking that his words was a man's words, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and man's word is really the words of the devil. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Outside of God. <laughs> So hey, he, he, I, I just want you to know that those scriptures align up with you, your scripture you had this morning, yeah. earlier. Because so you are of your father, the <laughs> devil. That, those are some 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 heavy words. That is heavy words to somebody who are who they consider themselves to be children of God. Yes, religious so, people. So though they thought that. They did not know <laughs> their place. Obviously, they thought wrong. Well, right. Well, that's what I'm saying. When we do things of this world, we're doing it. What? He is the God of this world, isn't he? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then if we either operate in the word of the will of God, the word of God, or we're operating in the world way. And that's why he told Peter, get behind. He said, you are mindful of the things of man. Yeah. What does scripture say, right? Yes. That's what he told him. Say, get behind me, what? Satan. Satan. Yes. Peter, because you are mindful of what? The things of man, not yes. the things of God. And that's how we got to watch out, even when we're dealing with people in this world, in this life, even as Christians, because sometimes Christians keep reverting back to the things of this world. <laughs>